Okay, snow falling on CISSPs this morning. And continuing on in uh, security management, we've got, uh, we, well, we've discussed uh, the, the different roles and, and uh, responsibilities and sort of the definition of uh, security in, in management terms. Um, and bearing in mind uh, SPAF's dictum that uh, a secure system is does, does what it's supposed to do and, and always bear that in mind, which relates to what I want to talk about today, uh, which is one size does not fit all. And in particular, um, the fact that we have to ensure that what we are doing in security, as, as mentioned before, is appropriate to the business at hand, the, the enterprise that we are involved with, the, the business that we have, um, which type of security. Now, um, one of... Uh, one of the classes, I, uh, uh, one of the seminars, uh, uh, I had two guys uh, sitting beside each other, um, one of whom uh, worked for uh, Government Business Development Bank, and uh, the other guy worked for Ecom. Now, the, the Business Development Bank, well, I, we'll, we'll come to that. Uh, Ecom is the people who answer the 911 calls. Uh, they, um, availability is their thing. I mean, confidentiality, you don't want to go and blab everything all over the place. You are dealing with people at their most vulnerable and, and at the most disturbing points in their lives. Yes. But confidentiality takes Second place to availability. When somebody calls 911, somebody's got to answer the phone. So their planning, their uh, uh, work uh, was all on the availability side. And confidentiality, well, it was a concern, but it definitely took second place. Now, uh, the other guy, as I say, a business development bank, um, we, you know, run by the government, uh, the government lending money to businesses for business development to enhance their business, to grow their business, to make sure uh, that they were taking full advantage of all business opportunities, etc., etc., etc. And uh, this means that uh, when you make an application, to the business development bank to get money uh, to get a loan to enhance your business the government uh, isn't as finicky about it as a bank maybe but they do want to make sure that the money that they provide is going to develop business it is uh, going to grow your business and hopefully through your business other businesses and etc 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 and so they want a ton of information what is it that you do what do you plan to do better what do you plan to do bigger what area do you plan to move into what do you see as a business opportunity um how do you see this business succeeding if they give you the money? Uh, they want you to succeed. They, uh, and they want to know that you, you have thought about it, that you have planned, and that, you know, when they give you money, it's going to result in, you know, extra business, extra jobs, all of that good kind of stuff, including extra taxes that they get to, you know, levy on income and so forth. So, um... There's a ton of information you have to provide to the business development bank when you make an application. Now, of course, they are dealing with all kinds of businesses, including businesses that are probably in 
competition with each other that are in the same field or even in the same business. Uh, so it is vitally important that all of this information, which could be very damaging, you know, very beneficial to your your competitors if it got out, um, and very damaging to your business prospects, is kept confidential. That everything is kept under wraps. Everything is uh, uh, nailed down. Uh, no, none of this information is going to get out to anybody else. So confidentiality is a big deal. But in terms of availability, well, as he himself said, hey, we're the federal government. If we disappeared for a month, who would even notice? So you have to determine what is the uh, type of security that is important to your particular business, the um, uh, the, uh, you know, we'll go into the threats and vulnerabilities more specifically and that sort of thing, but, you know, even in, in very broad terms, which of the three pillars of security is most important to you? And generally, that means that something else has to take second place. You can't have 100% security all the time in every single way. You've, you've got to, you got to pick and choose. And it's not one size fits all. You definitely have to determine what is it that is most important to your business, to your enterprise, to your company. That is what you are pursuing. In regard to pursuing it, um, there are three levels that are uh, important here. There's uh, the operational terms, and if you are working your way up in the field, um, probably operations is where you have been. And this is, you know, these specific tasks, these specific tools, um, and operating them and operating the business, making sure that those tools help you operate the business. So, uh, that is you know, the operational level. But it tends to be short-term. You're, you're reacting. You're dealing with immediate problems and issues. Then there is the tactical level, where you are taking a slightly higher view from the operations. What's going to happen tomorrow? What's going to happen next week? Um, if we do this today, uh, you know, what happens a month down the line. Um, you know, what is it that, that we do in our operations? You know, what effect is it going to have? What unintended consequence might we see? Um, uh, is this the best thing we could be doing? You know, this is all the tactical level of stuff, and that's what you should be moving into. Um, or hopefully uh, you are already starting to consider those types of, of tactical considerations. And then there is strategy. And strategy is, um, it's at the higher level. You are taking the longer term view. You are taking, you know, possibly years, possibly decades, um, uh, looking into the future. What is going to be happening? Um, as I say, when I uh, go to uh, trade shows uh, and people ask me, you know, as a security person, what am I doing here? And I'm saying, I'm here to find out what you're doing this year that's going to cause problems for me next year. Uh, what, it, you know, is the strategy that I should be planning to deal with the new changes in technology? And I, I have recently seen an absolutely wonderful uh, illustration of this, a, a video of a game of Go, which uh, seems to be all on one side. One guy is moving and, and taking things and setting up uh, situations so that he can take things. And the other guy is making what seems to be silly moves that don't seem to go anywhere until he gets down to the end and comes back and basically in one move takes all of his opponent's uh, stones off the board. 
It is a beautiful example of the difference between tactics and strategy.